Time to make some peaches in my pressure cooker. This uh, pressure cooker was passed down to me by my wife's dad. Looks like it's been used quite a bit, but we'll give it a try. Uh, first thing I noticed when I got it I'm trying to do this with give me just a sec so I opened it and I gotta make sure that this sealed see it's used so I have to make sure that the seal is good so let me take it off anyway uh, it comes out and just if it's old if it's been sitting around for some time just use vegetable oil and take it completely out uh, kind of rub the oil on it wipe it um, and then put it back in so here's what it looks like inside has the two different layers there's my sugar and water that I'll be pouring in опять кто слушает по-русски я буду в специальном аппарате персики закатывать вот видите банки сперва чистим потом вот так я беру с ножиком просто Чищу шкурку, clean off the skin, um, pour it in here, uh, as you can see I already got a little bit, I poured some of this hot brine in there, uh, so my jar would heat up a little bit, so it wouldn't crack if I fill it up with hot brine right away. I'm saving these just in case, I want to open them and possibly use them for something, so we'll see, give me a minute. All right, here we go. So I put some water in there. You're supposed to have water almost till their necks. See, some of these I made with cinnamon. And some are just plain with a little bit of sugar. See, I can fit one more jar, but I'm good. So I got seven in here, and 
I have enough. See, my water is about that level, so I'm good. And I'm about to put the lid on, tighten it up, start it. See, mine has a little tiny arrow right there, and it has to be there. And now I'm going to twist it to the closed. That's it. All right. Also, I put this little guy on. I'm not sure exactly how much to unscrew it or screw it yet. So, I'm going to start heating this up and we'll see how the pressure rises. We'll have to go by the pressure. We need about 15 which will be about 250 degrees and this thing is fogging up a little but we need it right about there about 250 degrees that's when we know we're killing off all the uh, botuli or botulism uh, in the fruit in the peaches so give me a couple minutes we'll let this thing heat up old technology 21st century so it's been about 30 minutes and the pressure gauge has not budged too much. It's getting quite warm so I guess it just takes time. Peaches they say need a steam at the 15 for 10 minutes. So we just need some time, I hope, and I hope it'll work. All right, so it's been pretty much an hour now, and we're finally starting to get some steam. Except I don't really know how to regulate it, you see? I assume I'm just gonna let it steam just a little bit so my gauge is not not budging yet so give it some more time See, it's starting to come out from there so that means I gotta let it out if your steam starts coming out of there that's like your emergency release so you gotta have it come out of there so yeah I opened it So I was working for it with this thing for a little over an hour now and I noticed the pressure wasn't going up. So what I did was I tightened this up. As you can tell, it's pretty screwed right now and the gauge is actually going up. Um, my 15 mark, the 250, is right there in the center so I am about a third of the way up. Just give it some more time. All right, so now I'm at the 10, which is sufficient enough to kill all the botulism. But I want it to go to the 15, I'm guessing that's bar or 15 atmosphere. Um, there's no real measurements that I can read on there. Um, but yeah, it keeps on rising slowly but surely. So I'm wanting it to go to the 15, the 250. Give it a little bit more time. We need it there for about 10 minutes. Finally, I reached the 250, and I am one hour and 30 minutes into this process. It took me quite a bit longer because I obviously didn't know that this needed to be screwed in instead of unscrewed, so a little waste of time there. No. Чтобы убить, убить всю бактерию бачилизм, нужно, чтобы счетчик показывал 250 градусов по Цельсиус, и это будет приблизительно 15 а, атмосферных, 15 атмосфер. И так нужно 10 минут проварить в пару, 
и наши персики будут готовы. Все, сейчас я убираю кастрюлю с огня и пускай оно остывает. Я не буду открывать ее, пока само оно полностью не остынет до нуля. И потом перед тем, как открыть, раскрутить, я это полностью раскручу. Нажму этот пупсик резиновый, чтобы давление все нормализовалось. И только тогда я смогу открыть. So, now that it's at, been at the 250 for 10 minutes, I'm going to take this off of the burner. Let it completely cool until it gets to the zero. Then before I open it, I'm going to equalize the pressure by unscrewing this cap, pressing the emergency evaporative valve, and then only can I open. So, I guess we'll give it the night to cool off, and we'll see what turned out. Uh, hopefully there are still peaches in there, and it's not a jelly. So... <laughs> It's my first time testing this out, just wanted to give you this information and we'll see what it turns out tomorrow. I'm still showing you the process, so it is one hour and 30 minutes now. Like I said, the temperature reached 250 degrees Celsius and now it's slowly, gradually coming back down. I kept the temperature above 240 degrees which is the number 10 so above that for over 10 minutes and I think personally that's sufficient for me to uh, kill off all the bacteria опять же я держал температуру выше 240 градусов по Цельсию больше 10 минут и я думаю это достаточно убить всю бактерию бачелезом то есть я не думаю надо держать на 250-10 минут. Мое всего лишь мнение. Как я понимаю, после того, как я брал классы по микробиологии, и я думаю, для меня это достаточно. И да, спасибо за просмотр.